Hey guys, in today's video we're going to talk about some common mistakes while using pen tool. So here are some beginner mistakes. As you can see I'm in Avity Designer version 2 but the pen tool will work exactly the same in version 1. It works very similar in other software like Core or Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape, Vectorator. That's a really the like one of the key tools in any vector editing software. Why it's so important? Because it gives us a freedom, a power to draw any custom shape. So pen tool is over here on the list and many beginners try this tool, get frustrated and then spend next year <laughs> try to avoid it using all other tools around, workarounds to not use a pen tool. Why is that? Because they do not understand some basic, let's say, science behind it. And I think that's the key here. So today we're going to analyze those five common mistakes. And I hope with this new knowledge, it will be a bit easier to use it. All right. So the first thing to understand is you are not drawing a line. That's a big misunderstanding here. So take a look. If I take a pen tool and I start click and drag, I'm not dragging a line, I'm just setting up the point right now. I set up point number one, click and drag point number two, and the line appears between them based on my anchor point properties. So that's really important to know. You are not drawing a line while using pen tool. You are setting up points and the line is drawn between them, all right? So if I just click, 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 I'm setting points and the line will be drawn between those points. And of course we can modify it later with no tool. So if you, let's say mess up, you can move your points. That's fine. We can turn those sharp points into curvy points. That's fine as well. So keep in mind, we are working in the software where we can always undo modify, make changes, fix mistakes. All right. We are not doing a line. We are setting up points. So I recommend you guys to turn on rubber band mode because by default, if I set up point number one, I'm going to set up point number two. I need to lean to my experience with this tool to predict how the curve will be. All right. But if you turn on a special rubber band mode at the top, very top here, while selecting the pen tool, turn it on. Take a look, after I draw the first point, I got this blue line that simulate how the next point will be based on the first point. So that will be very helpful for you if you are new to pen tool. You see, it simulates how will be the next line. And you can see that I cannot make 100% uh, turn here. It will be curvy at the beginning. So you can see that Oh, if I want this to be different, maybe I need to change the previous point as well. All right. So I think that's really, really helpful mode for beginners. Let's move to the second mistake. And that's about directions. I'm not talking about the vector directions. That's the topic for separate video, just a simple mouse movement direction. So let's say you want to draw some kind of oval like this. If you take a closer look, you can see there are just four nodes. That should be simple, right? So we're starting with the node number one at the top. And then you go to node number two here. And the result is very different. I'm not getting an oval shape because the first point is going like backwards in the wrong direction. That's because that's kind of your fault. <laughs> if you end with something like this, you didn't pay attention to the initial direction of your anchor point at the beginning. So take a look. The rule is really simple here. If you plan to go to the right, pull this first node to the right, and then you can go to the right. All right. And that's the thing. If you plan to go to the left, Pull it to the left. So be sure this initial point, the first one is aligned with the mouse movement. That's really simple and easy. 
just need to be mindful about direction of the first node. All right. Open shapes, that's something I see all the time in some Facebook groups, people asking for help because they cannot fill the custom shapes with colors. So people try vector tools, right? They get a pen tool, they got some nice custom shape. Then they stop drawing that shape. And then they start drawing like another shape around that. Like, okay, they start drawing another shape here. And somehow they expect it will be like nicely filled with color. And what they find out later on, if I fill this with color right now, I will have this. Let's make it even longer too, because that's the really common result people getting. You see this straight line here? That's because this shape is not close. It's actually not a shape yet. It's just a line. We add the fill to it so the program try to kind of help us to put the color whatever it can. But it's just a line. It's not a close shape yet. So we will end up with this, with this line here connecting the first and the last point. To solve that, you need to simply close the shape, right? So you need to be sure this shape is closed shape. When you draw a closed shape, then you can easily fill it with color. But some of you may need like fancy line that not exactly align with the fill color. What's what to do in that case? So use the fill shape without the line like that and then make a separate line to be more freestyle around that fill color you like, like that. And this kind, you can get a happy medium. One shape is for fill color, one is just for the line. If you try to fill the line with the color, you will end up, you will end up with cut like that because there's no shape here actually all right so be mindful about open shapes that are really hard you can you shouldn't fill them with color you need a close shape to fill fill this area of color all right too many end points why drawing shapes is another problem our goal is to make as less as we can so we don't want too many end points by default take a look i showed that already today Oval circle that's only four anchor points. That's like the perfect example. You see, anchor point is this point, it can be sharp without any control nodes around, like that. In that case, it will be represented by square. It can be smooth, in that case, it's represented by circle with additional control points on the left and right. And our goal is to make as less as we can. I don't want to go like that while drawing some kind of oval, some kind of circle. Take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this case, it will be really hard, hard to turn it into like perfect circle and a lot of adjustment, stuff like that. But if I delete those unnecessary points, just hitting delete on my keyboard. If I just stick with four like that and then use those notes, right? We can pull those notes out with that. It will be much, much easier to make the curve smoother. So less points usually means a smoother curves, smoother shapes. You see, that's much better. Less points usually is better. All right. So don't use too many anchor points. And the last thing is also related to that. We got unbalanced curves very often with the beginner users. When you get your pen tool, you place the first point without thinking. And when you're drawing the second one, then you try to make a curve. And what you did is you, the first point is, is a sharp point. So you put you just the second one, you see how long this node need to be to make a curve. All right. And the next curve, see how round it is because of this long anchor points it's really hard if you want to make a sharp turn now or something like that so we want to we try to balance our curves so that curve from both sides so you shouldn't do only one sharp note and one very long one 
we don't want to do that instead you must think ahead all right next line will be curvy so i start with some node like that and you see this line is already a little bit curvy before i even place the second point and that's much shorter and much nicer so try to balance your curves curve them from both sides beginning and the end thing about pen tool is this is one of those tools that actually required some experience and practice it's really hard to jump into this for the first time and draw exactly what you need the tool will act strange you will I'm not sure why you cannot control it. That's very, very normal, okay? Don't panic. <laughs> so that's a, a very normal property of this tool because it's so powerful, allow us to draw whatever we want. It's also a little bit tricky. So remember, try to balance your curves from both sides. Don't use too many anchor points. Close your shapes if you plan to fill them with color. The direction of the first movement is important and you are not drawing a line. You are placing points that will be connected by a line. As I mentioned, this tool is tricky. So I got one great resource to recommend while you are learning about pen tool. Here it is, it's a interactive website, the basic game, when you can, that will simulate the pen tool when you can like draw over some shapes and will be harder and harder over time and you will learn all the basic shortcuts, how to, make sharp u-turns and stuff like that and they will guide you to all of the basics of pen tool and i can guarantee you if you spend one hour on this website you will be able to use pen tool much much better with much less less frustrating okay so if you are very new to vector graphics you use pen tool just a little or maybe never start with this website seriously whatever you use i think the designer Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape. This website is such, such a great resource. I always use this in my school setting with teenagers. <laughs> I force them to practice here for one hour before we move to the real software and it's super helpful for them. The per Sometimes I got some absent students if they miss that lesson. On this website, there's so much behind later <laughs> while we actually designing some icons and drawing some vectors in the program later on. So I highly recommend this one. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. As you can see, it's more like non-profit stuff with donations, but it's so powerful, really. Go practice for one hour on this website and you will see your pen tool skills will definitely improve. All right, I would like to finish our today's tutorial with a little bit of announcement about a, my YouTube channel. I've been busy uploading two tutorials a week for several months now. So we got so many new tutorials now. It's a little bit hard to find the right one. So I decided to split my content on this YouTube channel, Crewmark. I will try to stick to the graphic design tutorials, affordable creative software like Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo Publisher, maybe a little bit of Inkscape later, Photop, Vectorator, so programs related to doing some creative work, graphic work. And I will be moving all other videos about PowerPoint, Keynote, stuff like that, to my brand new second channel, Creative Computing Tutorials. So I will really appreciate your help. Help me kick off this second channel. I plan to clean up Crewmark channel, so it's more focused on the graphic design. And as I mentioned, moving everything else, diagrams, PowerPoints, to the another tutorial channel. So it's there, it's not mixing together. It's easier to navigate and find the tutorial you need, all right? So please help me a little bit with this new channel. Visit that com creative computing tutorials. You can see it on my main channel at the top. It's highlighted right now. Check it out and thank you for today. I hope I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.